Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eugene and in this video I would like to show you something because a lot of you, not a lot of you, some of you ask me about one of my videos where I show you how to place a text view inside of the UI table view and that tutorial I'm assuming with the new Xcode 12 and iOS 14 is not working for you guys and I know why so if you look at the code here uh, it's our UI table view cell I made a mistake and uh, I don't know guys if you saw that type of code in other tutorials but Whenever you work with UI table view or whenever you work with UI collection view, if you would like to add a SAP view in your cell, either UI table view or UI collection view, it has to be content view. So instead of, um, instead of just add SAP view, so basically UI table view and UI collection view, it's a view. And on the view, you can say you can just say at view. So, but um, UI table view and UI collection, you have uh, a content view. So, con content view at sub view text field. So, and let's try to run it and see if it work and if it fix our problem. And yes, it did. Look at that. So, um, yeah. So if you had a problem um, with this tutorial in the past and if for some reason your text views was interactable, interactive and you couldn't do anything, just change your code to that. And remember, whenever you put your views in a UI table view cell or UI collection view cell, you should always work with content view and I would like to emphasize it because I've seen it in the, in um, other tutorials on YouTube and other tutorial, tutorials that like I purchased in the past. I think it is wrong because the view of the cell and content view is not the same thing. So when you add things on the view of the UI table view or UI collection view, it may not render correctly in your table view or your collection view. So the best practice is to always work with content view of your UI table view cell and UI collection view cell. So I hope guys it was helpful and I hope it will fix your problem and you won't be stuck on this tutorial thank you so much for watching definitely let me know if you have any questions and i will i will see you in the next video bye guys